Have you ever been told that you have lumpy breasts or maybe fibrocystic disease of the breast? This is what we're going to talk about today. So Diem, tell us, what is fibrocystic disease of the breast? Well, actually, fibrocystic disease, even though it's called a disease, is not a disease. It's okay. actually patients who have normal breasts, except that they have more fibrous tissue and more cysts, causing them to have lumpy breasts, sometimes accompanied by pain or tenderness. And so is this common? It's actually quite common. I would say that the majority of women will actually have fibrocystic disease at one point in their life. This is something that can come and go. Now, most women who are affected by this are between the age of 30 and 50, and it's very rare for a woman to have this after menopause. Okay. So can you tell us what causes the, the disease? So actually, fibrocystic disease results from the stimulation and the degradation of breast tissue that occurs with varying estrogen levels during each menstrual cycle. And so what are the associated symptoms? So patients can uh, present with different severity levels of symptom, but most of the time they will have lumpy breasts, and these can be small or big lumps. This can also be accompanied by some pain or tenderness. Sometimes the patient will say that it's constantly there, but sometimes it varies with their cycle. And most of the time, this will be situated in the upper outer quadrant of their breasts. It can be or not be symmetrical. Okay, um, and so what is the treatment for this? So it's not a disease, so you don't really need to treat it, right? But there are two main concerns for patients who have fibrocystic disease. The first one is the pain. And we've made a video on um, breast pain or nostalgia, and we're gonna link it below because in it, you will find different measures that you can take to decrease the pain. Mm -hmm. And I think the second thing uh, that is of concern for patients with fibrocystic disease is that they will tend to constantly have lumps in their breasts. And this is always alarming for any woman. Of course. So what I tell these patients is that unfortunately, because of that condition, they will necessitate more investigation or repetitive investigation. That being said, I think that any woman who presents with a new breast mass should always report it to her physician. Even if they have the fibrocystic disease. Yes, they mm -hmm. should never assume that it's just fibrocystic disease. Of course. Well, that was very helpful. So thank you for tuning in and we will see you next time.